in studio with me today is Mr. Steve White from our Coffee Athletics Program. Mr. Steve, how are you doing today? Great, Amory. Great to be here again this Monday talking coffee athletics. A lot of good things going on with our boys and girls. Let's start with baseball. Baseball finished the regular season 18 and 12, 10 and 5 in the region. Had a three game sweep of Jenkins last week to finish second in the region. Um, against Jenkins, Peyton Bryant, Austin Strickland, and Ben Roberts all had complete game shutouts. Recently named Region 1 5A Player of the Year, Zalen Smith, and Region Rookie of the Year, Ben Fussell, each hit 833 for the week. First team region shortstop Cannon Jones went five for five, drove in six runs. Three game sweep of Jenkins, all shutouts, a lot of momentum for the team going into the playoffs. We caught a break. We got a three game sweep from, from Greenbrier over Statesburg that vaulted us into the second position in the region. Therefore, we get to host a state playoff series today at Charles Wilson Field. We will be hosting Union Grove High School out of Henry County. Doubleheader today beginning at 4.30. If the team split, the third game of the series will be tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So we got state playoff baseball at home today. Please come out. 4.30, two games today for sure. Possible third game tomorrow. We need your support. The winner of this series plays the winner of the Northgate Decatur Series next week. So baseball in the state playoffs today. Tennis, also in the state playoffs. Boys defeated Dutchtown uh, last Tuesday 3-0 to advance to the Sweet 16. They are on their way to play at McIntosh today at 2.30 in the Atlanta area. So our boys are on the road in tennis in the Sweet 16. Wish them the best of luck. Our girls defeated Jones County in the first round of the state playoffs 4-0. They will play at Chambly in the Atlanta area tomorrow at 2 o'clock. So, boys tennis on the road today, second round. Girls tennis on the road tomorrow, second round. Let's wish both of, the, both of those groups luck, and let's hope we can get to the round of eight. Track region meet last week. We qualified a number of kids for the next uh, round. Coffee High track team traveled to Greenbrier in Evans, Georgia. The top four individuals or relay teams qualified for the state sectional meet at Union Grove High School in McDonough, Georgia on May 6th. We had region champions Nevin Swanson in the 800-meter run. The 4x200-meter relay team region champions, and those guys are Anthony Polk, Tyrese Wooget, Jaquan Harrison, and Travis Adams. So we had a relay team and an individual uh, finish as region champion. Now, the following also qualified for the sectionals. You had to be in the top four. We had second-place finishes by Jamaria Harvey in the 400-meter dash, second-place finish by James Gerard in the 110-meter hurdles, second-place finish by Kate Merritt in the 3,200-meter run, second-place finish by Tyrese Wooget in the 100-meter dash, Second place finished by the 4 by 100 meter relay team of Anthony Polk, Tyrese Wooget, Jaquan Harrison, and Travis Adams. Third place finishers and qualifiers, Nevin Swanson in the 1600 meter run, Lorenzo Harvey in the shot put, Kate Merritt in the 1600 meter run. And finally, we had a fourth place finish and qualifier by the 4 by 200 meter, meter relay team ladies, Jemiah Hudson, Janiah Brown. Iana Johnson and Jamaria Harvey. So we are a qualifying number of folks to go to Union Grove for the state sectionals on May the 6th. So congratulations to these student athletes. Golf, they are going to Statesboro today for a practice round and will be participating in the area tournament tomorrow. Uh, wish the golfers best of luck also. So that's where all our spring sports stand that are still in action. Let's talk a little bit of spring football. Middle school ends on the 27th. Ninth grade is in their second week of spring training. Varsity begins May 2nd and finishes Saturday, May 20th with a spring game versus Brooks County at 6 o'clock at Jardine Stadium. So things are wind, winding down, but things are still going on. Uh, our kids still need our support, so let's wish all of our spring sports uh, the best of luck this week as they participate in tournament play. And... 
We're rolling through spring football, and we look forward to seeing a preview of our 2023 team uh, on the 20th of May versus Brooks. All right, Amory, I believe that's got me for the day. Uh, go Trojans. Go Trojans. One more time. Tell them again what's going on today. Our boys are going out to defeat who? Union Grove High School out of Henry County. Awesome. And if you can make it, please make it down to show your support. And if you can't, show your support from home. You can always go on Facebook, hashtag Trojan Pride. Let them know that you love them and you're there to support them. And thank you so much, Mr. Steve, for coming in and letting everybody know about all the awesome things that our coffee athletics program has in store. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. It is 12.18 p.m. And I will be back this afternoon from 3 to 6 for Afternoons with Amory. So you don't want to miss it. In the meantime, go to our Facebook page at 93.5 Vibe FM. Like and follow while you're there because it's a smart thing to do. And I will see you guys back here at 3. Keep it here for the hot hits and throwbacks. This is 93.5 Vibe FM.